Hey guys, um, so it's been a little while. I've been really busy um, interviewing for school. Even though I have a job, I don't have a school yet. Um, but I wanted to catch up with you guys and do a review of the Swan Wen Wa. Um, I think that's how you say it. I'm going to pretend that's how you say it because everyone else is unsure. So it's Swan Wen Wa, if you don't know how to say it, um, by Lush. And this was with the Big Hair Affair kit. And so it gives you 1.7 ounces. This was just about enough. I could have used a little bit more, especially because my hair is kind of long. Um, but I used this a couple nights ago. I left it in for probably two or three hours. Um, but this barely coated my hair. I started with my ends and then I worked up toward my scalp. Um, I really like the smell of this. I've heard some people say it smells like chai. Um, to me, it smells exactly like the... Not the fair trade foot lotion, but the other one, um, Pied de Pepper. Pied de Piper, Pied de Pepper. Um, but it has like a really kind of cinnamon clovey scent. And so I really liked it. I thought it was really yummy. And the crazy thing was that this scent was in my hair for days after. Like, I think I shampooed and conditioned my hair two or three times, and I could still smell that clovey cinnamon scent. So I really liked the scent. Um, it was kind of smooth and creamy going in my hair. Um, it dried pretty quick, so it was just kind of like my hair got kind of stiff and crusty. Um, and when I washed it out, it felt okay, but I'm starting to think that for whatever reason, um, Lush products just don't work with my hair. Because um, I didn't really notice anything different about the texture. It was a little bit softer than normal for about a day but it wasn't like silky smooth. Um, I'm a big fan of VO5 oil treatments and I would say that that works better for my hair, leaving it like really lush in condition. Um, lush, ha huh? get it, no pun intended. But um, yeah, this just didn't really float my boat. Um, I don't think I would buy the regular size, although I wouldn't complain if I got it for free. Um, but yeah, it didn't really leave my hair in, in any better condition. And I've heard people say, like, if you're switching over to Lush products, you have to give it a week or two before you really see a difference. Um, or that normal hair products will mask the damage to your hair. Like, if you have really bad split ends and you're using a heavy conditioner like Pantene, it just coats the hair and you don't notice the damage, but it's still there. So the only way to really get over it is to chop off all your ends. But for most of us, you know, in other words, like, to stop using regular products, to use Lush products, and chop off all your hair so it works for you just seems kind of weird to me. So, um, I don't know. I'll, I have a couple other products, um... I'll, I'll be reviewing a couple other ones soon, and I still haven't tried my Ultimate Shine, but I just don't think they're going to work with my hair. I've been dyeing it since 14, so 15 years now. I've been dyeing my hair, and the ends are just, they're over-processed, and those other shampoos and conditioners seem to leave my hair in better shape, and I'm not willing to chop off all my hair. I'm going to keep dyeing it, so the solution with Lush just isn't really for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If you have probably virgin hair or... Um, I don't know if you have really strong thick hair and like you don't have a lot of damage this might be great for you but for me it just didn't work very well so hope that helps um, I think I need to start doing some reviews of things I really do like because so far with the hair care uh, I don't I feel like a negative Nancy I guess so anyway hope you all are doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye